Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting Yokai Watch to Fleshy Souls and Bony Spirits Tips and Tricks Tutorial. Today's video is all about Kyubi. We're gonna show you guys how to get him in Yokai Watch Fleshy Souls. Now, with this game, he's the exclusive, he's the cover mascot, so if you guys have Bony Spirits, you may need to trade your Vanoct for him. Equal value. Anyway, we're gonna show you guys step by step. So grab your copy of the game. Grab your S rank yokai watch and, of course, your post game file and join me. So, you have to go into Springdale Elementary. There is going to be a quest inside the science room with Mr. Barton. Yeah, he's a pretty charming teacher, according to all these little fifth grade girls. So, yeah. Apparently, they're making a fan club for him, which is kind of cool, right? Go for it. Hey, you have a favorite teacher? Let's crowd around and gather up a bunch of people and make a fan club for him, right? Who doesn't do that? I mean, I was part of it. No, I wasn't, but anyway. So, you're gonna talk to this girl, and we're gonna do the quest called the Old Fox Shrine. Now, this one's a really easy one. If you guys have seen the Yokai Watch uh, 1 tips and tricks tutorial on how to get QB, it was a long and drawn out quest with an auto befriend at the end of it. This quest is a little bit easier, but there's no auto befriend. So, anyway. So, all the kids don't know what's up with Mr. Barton besides that they're uh, his their science teacher, right? So, what they're gonna need to do is recruit you to find out all the little information about Mr. Barton. What he likes, what he doesn't like, I don't know, just those things so that they can share amongst themselves because it's a fan club, right? And if you guys are gonna be super fans, you need to know who you're fangirling to, right? I don't know, it's a weird thing. So, anyway, we're gonna head out over here. Uh, whenever you want to, you can press the uh, menu button and then set the path guidance on so that you guys can see exactly where you need to go. That's always a good way of doing it. So I'll show you guys how to do that here. Click on quest, go over to the old fox shrine, click on yes, and then now you have little arrows pointing you exactly where to go. So, that's great. First arrow is gonna be this little kid over here. So you wanna know about his hobbies. Well, he's interested in local history. Okay, so we got one little tip. Which is cool, so he likes local history, that's great. Alright, so, uh, maybe he should be teaching history instead of science. Oh, well, you know, you get assigned to whatever you're assigned, right? Anyway, so we're gonna find the next student all the way up here. Just follow my lead on this one. Uh, the school is a little bit of a maze, uh, but if you follow my lead on this, you'll be fine. So we're gonna head over this way, and there's a little girl hanging out here. Hey, student! All right, so now this student says that Mr. Barton rem uh, was talking about the old fox shrine. Something about uh, 60 years ago and it's not there anymore. So because, you know, it was only in the past. And we've been to the old fox shrine if you guys watched the Let's Play. So yeah, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna go into the past to the old fox shrine in uh, the old Springdale. And we're going to find our next clue over that way. So simply put, leave the area. If you guys know your way around the school, get out of there as fast as you can. And since you guys are playing in post game, you already have access to the Miradox over by the Springdale Community Center. So we're gonna use that one very, very quickly. So uh, yeah, you can head on over to any one of these warp points. They'll be fine. I'll just warp all the way over to the Every Mart, walk out of the Every Mart, drive our bike all the way over to that spot. So yeah, like I said, this quest really isn't too hard. It's uh, it's just a little like fetch questy. Like you have to go talk to these people. You have to go here. You have to go there. But the ability to have QB is going to be really cool. He's a very very awesome yokai, and he's very very strong in spirit attack. So anyway, here goes Miradox. We are going to give him some hugs. Of course, going back in time to old Springdale, and since we have that ability, we're just going to go all the way over to the old Fox Shrine now. If you guys don't remember where the old fox shrine, it's simply by Shopper's Row. Remember where we uh, buy the vegetables, where we buy the meats in present day? Yeah, exactly over that way. So we're going to take this little shortcut straight all the way across west, and then we're going to go due south right over by the springs. Of course, there's many ways of getting there. Get there and enjoy. So past the bike shop, hello. We've got a Sakura bike. We don't need any of your bikes. We're good. So here we are. Jumping on board, we're getting this, and we're gonna cut around the corner here, and we're set. So done. Ooh, look at that old fox shrine, and what a find, they're in the same spot. So here's a little girl, and uh, this one says that this is Mr. Fox's shrine. And Mr. Fox, apparently, uh, no, he's not the moving statue over there. Uh, Mr. Fox is just a fox yokai, and people start to think of him as kind of a god. 
because he's beautiful, he's got nine tails, and he's very kind, he loves the town, and he protects everyone. And he's the reason why the town is so peaceful. Got it. And so this girl is tasked with cleaning the entire shrine every single day simply because she loves Mr. Fox. That's cool, right? Hey, you know what? That girl's probably like, what? Not even like 10? And she comes here every day and just cleans it. So, uh, no, QB's not over here. It's just my favorite yokai, Shmoopy. He's just hanging out there, and of course you can talk to him, but, you know, this is a tutorial. So, don't interrupt me, Shmoopy. We may need you a little bit later, though. We may need you. So, Shmoopy. All right, and of course, no, that's not another cool item uh, that you need, like the golden tofu. <laughs> Remember that golden tofu? No, that's not the golden tofu. You don't need that for QB. And of course, watch out for all these yokai. There's uh, there's occasionally some classic yokai in the uh, in this alleyway over here. Just beat them up, throw a, a, an escape doll, and you'll call it a day. So now that we talked to her, we have pretty much completed the quest. We need to go back in time and go talk to Mr. Barton. And we need to tell him, hey, you know what? We found out a little bit more information about the Fox Shrine. And I hope that you can, I don't know, help us out. We need to find QB. Where is QB at? QB, the letter is Q, the letter B. That's exactly how you spell his name. Yep, it's true. So here we go. We're gonna go all the way back to the Mira Docks as fast as we can. And we got Whisper, of course, keeping up behind us. I haven't switched him out with Schmoopy. I really should do that. Anyway. So we're, we're gonna go back in time. We're gonna go talk to Mr. Barton and then go from there. So like I said, this is a step-by-step -step tutorial. We're gonna do this in real time with you guys. So grab your 3DS, play along with. And feel free, you guys can pause the video at any given time if I'm going too fast and then continue on. So here we go, we're gonna go all the way over to the school. You can ride your bike straight up to the school's front door or of course you can jump inside the Every Mart, jump inside the Mirapo and then warp yourself into the school. There's multiple ways of doing it. Whatever works for you guys, it doesn't matter. All right, so now that we're going inside the school, we're gonna go talk to the kids and we're gonna be like the big shot of the fan club. We're gonna say, hey ladies, I got all the information. He likes the old Fox Shrine. I know all about the old Fox Shrine. And of course, he likes local history. So that's pretty cool, right? All right, ladies, here we go. So what did we find out? All right, so we did some investigating. All right, what are his hobbies? He's really interested in the Fox Shrine. Yeah, Fox Shrine sounds boring. No, it's actually home to someone called Mr. Fox. And then Mr. Barton says, oh, wow, they're talking about me. Oh, tell me more about this Fox Shrine. So uh, we tell him all about it. And Mr. Barton says, yeah, sorry about that. And there we go. He's a big fan of culture and lore. He's he heard of Mr. Fox before, but he didn't have any details on it. Wow. Glad you can help. All right. So he also says that Mr. Fox has been seen on the roof of this very school. According to local legend, he appears there at night. So there we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, we should totally investigate the roof at nighttime. Hey, right? So now we know Mr. Fox is going to be on the roof at night. So that's pretty easy. How do you guys go from day to night in the game? Do you guys remember? I hope you guys do, because it's pretty simple. You jump inside your Mirapo, you go home, and you sleep. <laughs> you sleep for like 12 hours straight. It's like it's like you're sick. It's actually very, very unhealthy to uh, sleep for that long. Oh my gosh. Let me know in the comments. Have you get, What was the longest you've ever slept in your entire life? I think, I think I've honestly slept for like 13 hours one time. Like I was so sick. I remember like I got the flu or something. And I was just sleeping. I slept 13 to maybe like 14 hours. It was I was out, just recovering. But like, if you're not sick and you're sleeping for that long, there might be something else at play there. So we're gonna do that. We slept until nighttime, of course. Now we're gonna be able to Mirapo our way back into the school uh, very simply. So it's the third one down, jump over there, we're gonna warp in. So step by step, let's do this. So now that we have done that, we are going to run all the way to the roof. Now, if you don't know how to get to the roof, it's actually a little hard if you're not used to exploring the elementary school because lots of areas are blocked off by desks for some reason. I don't know if that's the janitorial staff. They're like, uh, well, we're gonna block this pathway to the, to the roof just by stacking a couple desks over here. So yeah, keep that in mind. You may have to do a little bit more exploration. So this is a dead end over here. Of course, that's a dead end in that hallway. You gotta take this hallway all the way down. Whoa, that's a Tanbo right there. That's a rare yokai, cool. Didn't even know, hey, what do you know? That's where Tanbo spawns in case you guys are looking for him. It's a tutorial within a tutorial, ladies and gentlemen. 
All right, so here we are. Uh, we are set. There's really no need to save because this yokai acts a little bit different than the other yokai in the game. So you can indeed save if you want to, uh, but what we're really going to need is uh, just some good yokai. And of course, make sure that you have a popularity yokai, such as my man Schmoops. He's awesome. Favorite yokai right here. Schmoopy, Pinkie Poo, Cupistal, Casanova, and of course Dan Doodle. Having one of those five yokai, you'll be set. And of course, make sure they're equipped with their proper items so that they're a little bit stronger. So, QB, what are you doing here? Whatever you do mean, I'm Mr. Fox. <laughs> are you serious? How rude. Is it really a surprise? Uh, the real surprise is that you haven't changed a bit in 60 years. All right, well, that's a long story. Perhaps another time then. Now, how can I help you? Well, I'm not sure. We meet again after all these years and you have nothing to say? Good grief, you must have too much free time. Uh, that gives me an idea. You are free right now, aren't you? What did you have in mind? Well, you see, I'm actually rather bored. And you seem reasonably strong. And well, I've been itching to defeat you for the past 60 years. You have? Wow. Yeah, so let's do this. Wait, hold on a second. All right. So like I said, there's no need to save right now because the way his battle works is that you have to beat him and then you have to wait an entire day directly after you beat him in order to try your chance at befriending. So this is just a test. You're going to beat him with your strong yokai. You have all of your yokai friends over here from post game. He's really not that tough. If you have ultimate moves, if you have, um, I don't know, some tribe unity, we've got brave unity over here with Sergeant Burley with, uh, yeah, really, really good battle. So, this is fine. He's an easy battle. If you've already beaten Dame Demona, you can take on QB. Just putting it that way. All right, so beat him up, and then that's going to be almost the end of the tutorial. Because what he does, he's like, wow, that was amazing, you're pretty good. Not bad. If you get bored, come back again another night. Let's play again under the night sky, shall we? All right, so we made an impression on him. If you come back sometime, if you get a chance. So this is good. So now you might be wondering, oh man, Abdallah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna wait a day. He just says, you know, come back another night. So I'm just gonna go back home. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep for like a couple nights and then I'm gonna come back. But lo and behold, that's not how you do it. So I know you guys are really impatient. You guys want instant results, but this is actually a two day yokai. Not today, but a two day yokai. Man, it's, uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. There's actually going to be a couple more of those yokai in Yokai Watch Psychic Specters. I know that Jibakoma was a two-day yokai. I remember that. I think some other ones were, too. I'll have to double-check it. But anyway, we got some soul secrets. That's going to be really good for us. So, uh, yeah, that's where we're at. If we talk to him again, he's like, yeah, I'm not going to change my mind, so sorry. So what we can do right now is we can walk all the way out of here. Of course, it's a maze, so... That's exactly what you got to do. I'm not going to do any cuts right here because I want to show you guys that there's no way of going around it. So we can easily cut to my bed and cut to waking up in the morning, but I want this as organic as possible. So we're going to run all the way out here. We're going to go back home. We're going to sleep for a night, which is 24 hours, another night. And then we're going to show you guys that you can't do it. So that's fine. No worries. Now, QB's pretty cool. I mean, he's got the Inferno ability. He's got a very, very high spirit attack. And I like him. I like him a lot. I've never really used him on a competitive team before. But uh, I remember playing with him or messing around with him in Yokai Watch 2 and Yokai Watch 1 a little bit. So he's cool. And of course, he's got the whole side quest too. The whole QB's quest, like collecting those little hearts from people. I don't think I've actually filled that out yet. Like, I should go try that. Like, finish his quest, go to like all the little women in town all around Springdale and Harrisville and everywhere. And then. Get the little orbs that's gonna be interesting so anyway no cuts we're gonna do uh we're gonna sleep 24 hours maybe like 23 hours which is very not healthy but that's okay so it was nighttime we slept until the next night which is the beginning of the night and then we're gonna go all the way to spring springdale elementary and then get him again or at least try to just to show you guys that you have to wait an entire day and i would highly suggest not messing around with your nintendo 3ds clock as that does mess up a lot of things within Yokai Watch 2. Now, uh, Yokai Watch 2, the developers found out in Yokai Watch 1, a lot of people were messing around with the clock without any repercussions, so they totally fixed that in this game. So, anyway, so uh, you guys can see over here, he's still not gonna change his mind. So, what we're gonna do right now is we are going to save the game. We're gonna turn off our Nintendo 3DS. We're gonna go do something for an entire day, such as live streaming the getting all the wicked Yokai. That's exactly what we did. So if you guys didn't see that live stream where we were getting the Wicked Yokai, go check it out. 
So this is entirely the next day. All right, we did a little cut there and now we're set. So this is gonna be really, really tough, but you know, it's, it's easier. Now, Hyubi is a yokai that you cannot throw food at him. You can't throw food at him and you can't poke him for hearts. The best thing that you can do is beat him really, really quick. And of course, use a popularity yokai in hopes that that helps out. Now, just simply put, beat him. Beat him as fast as you can. Beat him, you know, just so you're not wasting your time a million times trying to get him. So look, right here, if you don't get him, he says, not bad, but you failed to fully capture uh, my excitement. My heart was not pounding out of my chest. So since you saved beforehand, all you have to do is click on start, go to title, click on continue, load up your save file. And uh, once you're done loading up your save file, you're good to go. You're good to go. So now I'm going to show you after about maybe like five attempts, uh, this is going to be the attempt that we're going to get. So we're going to beat him up. We've got the power of Schmoopy, if that helps at all. But like I said, it's going to take you some time. You guys will maybe get QB on your first try, or maybe you might get him on your 10th try. There's no guarantee. You just keep on battling him as fast as you can so that you can keep on retrying as fast as possible. So, like I said, he's really not that hard. If you have some yokai that are weak against fire, those may not be the best choices, but beat them up as possible, as fast as possible. So here we go, we're gonna get that, and right over here he gets a different dialogue. Different dialogue of, wow, you're pretty good. <laughs> my heart is pounding in my chest, what a fight. I've made up my mind, I'm coming with you. You can't change my mind, so don't even try. QB. All right, so we got QB. Yeah, we got QB, and he's pretty cool. We're gonna take a look at his uh, nicknames here. Uh, his nickname's Firefox, pretty good. Quill, QB, <laughs> and Foxy. I really like QB, that was like, okay, so the localization team was like, all right, all right, they're sitting around their cubicles, right? They're like, okay, give me some other nicknames for this uh, QB guy. Uh, yeah, let's just name him QB, right? The letter Q, the letter B, that's awesome. And they're like, dude, you got it, man. Here, have your raise, you deserve a raise. All right, so now it's my turn to show you a battle that should get your heart pumping, yada yada. So we got QB, that's great. So now that we got QB, as soon as you get QB, you need to save your game because you don't want anything to happen. Like you lose power on your Nintendo 3DS or you accidentally go back to title for some reason, save your game, you're done. So now that we got QB, let's take a look at his medal. Let's see what level he's at. QB is at level 49. Post game, that's actually pretty low. But if you just got out of post game, that's pretty decent because he'll he'll be very good. Provided you beat your uh, Dame Demona uh, and the S rank trials at around level 50, which is the recommended level. But of course, if you're like way into post game, like you beat Infinite Inferno, he may be a little bit too low for you. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, QB, an elite nine-tailed fox yoka. He can easily produce power greater than a volcanic eruption. That's pretty cool. Penetrate skill always deals elemental damage. That's very awesome. So whenever he does that tail whip attack, attack which is a physical attack, it goes off of his, uh, his neutral stat. So that's pretty good. All right, so pretty decent there, QB. Uh, I like that. What else do we got? We've got, yeah, we've got his summoning over here. So we're gonna throw his yokai medal in there. This is like season one or like series one yokai medals. Which is so cool. I still remember getting it and unboxing a QB. It was the, maze, the most amazing thing ever. So we threw the QB in there. And uh, this is actually the pendant right here. So that's kind of cool. And QB's just like, I'm not dancing. I'm not dancing to this. I'm just going to float here. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Okay, uh, pretty cool. So what else do we have? What else do we have? All right, so the last thing that we're going to do for the tutorial is show you guys what his ultimate is. And that's always what I like doing at the end. It's just going through, showing you the medallion entry, showing you the summoning, and of course, the QB ultimate, which is Inferno. It's very, very cool and powerful, might I add. So his spirit stat is very strong. So I would definitely recommend raising him logical or brainy so that you guys are on board with all of his stats being as best as possible. So raising his spirit stat and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Logical raises spirit and speed. Brainy just raises spirit. So I would say, I would say logical would be good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This is it. We're gonna toast these marshmallows <laughs> or these mochis, right? So we're gonna do that. We're gonna trace and we are going to be done. 
So looking good, and here we go. Big Inferno. We are all set. Done. Cool. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Inferno looking awesome. So that is going to be it for the Tips and Tricks tutorial video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We've got even more Yokai Watch 2 content coming your way with the new Psychic Specters. I am so pumped up for that. It is going to be amazing. So make sure that you guys are on board with watching my Psychic Specters videos. We've got Tips and Tricks tutorials. We've got a full Let's Play. We're going to do post game. We're going to do so much more. So make sure you guys are on board with it by clicking the playlist here. Newest video on my channel there. Recommendations there. And don't forget to subscribe so you're updated on the latest and greatest Yokai Watch 2 content on YouTube to date. We've got lots of giveaways planned. We've got everything planned for this, man. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. And of course, if this video helped you out, definitely smash that like button. See ya.